Patient selection is very important uh, when entertaining putting a patient on bevacizumab. I think it's important to remember that the two phase three trials that led to approval in the platinum sensitive space included patients with a good performance status. These patients by and large, especially with GOG 213 where we knew more about patient selection, excluded patients who had a history of uh, inflammatory bowel disease or bowel obstruction or impending bowel obstruction. And with doing that, we can definitely decrease the amount of GI toxicity such as perforations that we see with these patients. The other thing is uh, understanding their, their background, past medical history, and uh, concurrent diseases uh, such as hypertension. And I think it's important to monitor the blood pressure carefully during treatment and we find that we're able to keep patients on the right dose uh, without dose delays uh, with aggressive blood pressure monitoring and intervention. The efficacy is very good. I, I have had uh, patients who've had complete responses in, in the platinum sensitive setting. Uh, I have seen patients who've had large volume ascites, who've had near complete resolution. I've had patients with pleural effusions have had near complete responses as well in this setting and I think that is exhibited by the data where again you go from the mid 50 percent to the chemotherapy regimen and by adding BEV you bring that up by 20 some percent so it's impressive and that's what patients want to see as well they want to come in they want to see that their CA125 is going down that their symptoms are diminishing and that's very important to the patient. For me there's an important decision to make with administering bevacizumab in the platinum sensitive setting and that's really how are, what chemotherapy backbone am I going to use? Am I going to use carboplatin with gemcitabine or am I going to use carboplatin with paclitaxel? And I have to look at a number of variables to make that decision. One of the things I look at is what the treatment free interval has been. Longer makes me tend to go more with carboplatin and paclitaxel versus carboplatin and gemcitabine. I also look at the, the logistics of the schedule. Uh, the gemcitabine is administered on a day one, day eight schedule. The, the paclitaxel could be administered weekly, but in GOG 213, it was given every three weeks, uh, which can be an advantage for some patients who don't want to have to come into the medical center as often. Uh, then I also look at what kind of symptoms did the patients incur from their frontline treatment. So for patients who have a lot of neuropathy, for example, that's a perfect candidate in my mind to go with the platinum and gemcitabine.